my vision of economic justice is a world of opportunity for all. Uh, people have choices. They are able to choose their own destiny and their own future. And this requires everybody to have equal access to education, uh, equal access to opportunity to build an, an, an economic future. Uh, so I've been involved for the last, in fact, 17 years of my life in uh, social enterprise um, as the CEO of Community Individual Development Association, a 33-year-old non-profit in South Africa. And 12 years ago, we founded the free tertiary education movement in South Africa. What we see in sub-Saharan Africa is tens of millions of young people getting to go through primary school, secondary school, and then hitting a dead end, ending up on the street, no real economic opportunity, no education, don't know how to start meaningful businesses, and can't get decent jobs. And so we realized that if we could give people, just like what has built America and what is building India and China at such a rapid rate, uh, give equal access to high quality university level education and vocational education, uh, we can really change the playing field. So over the last uh, 12 years, we've created a number of uh, small, uh, private, non-profit, free access higher education institutions uh, to help the most disadvantaged people uh, completely come out of poverty. We have some great partnerships with employers. In fact, we've placed uh, graduates into over 120 employers um, across the country in almost every industry. Um, in the beginning, people were like, you know, what's this unknown thing? You know, how could we ever compete with the big universities? And especially given the background of where our students are coming from, many of them come from terrible schools. They live in shacks. They you know, first generation to go to university. Um, what what uh, employers are now found, finding, because we focus so much on values and on, on, on building ethical leaders, and also uh, b because these young people are so hungry to get this education and, and to build a great future, and because they're the most incredible people, uh, you know, who have been molded by their circumstances, we're finding employers sometimes booking graduates a year before they graduate. Um, and I, I've often, on graduation day, asked uh, students to stand up if they already have a job and often it's 90% of them on graduation day are already employed and, 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 and that's just so exciting. So um, that word is now really spread in the market and is uh, uh, a great thing for the graduates now coming out because they're following in the, the kind of illustrious footsteps of amazing young people who are out there and uh, yeah and, and that that's really our goal is is just seeing those young people out in the market becoming successful becoming leaders so 12 years ago our organization uh, realized this you know massive shortage of access to higher education um, south africa which is you know, truly a democratic country now we long hard uh, you know, fought and won freedom in the country uh, has brought political freedom but we don't have economic democracy we have political democracy everybody can vote but so what and what we see is that even the public institutions are enormously inaccessible to the poor. And we said we want to prove to people in our country uh, that kids from anywhere have got the potential. If you give them the opportunity um, and give them the right kind of framework for learning, they will grab it and they will be able to become extraordinary value-adding value contributors in society. And so we decided to create a free tertiary education movement. And it started with our first campus. Um, we then helped to create a second, a third. Uh, with Sir Richard Branson, we created a school of entrepreneurship called the Branson Center of Entrepreneurship, which is now actually opened up in Jamaica uh, as well, and will hopefully go to other locations. Um, uh, five years ago, we started the Marishi Institute, and then a year ago, we started Meru, which is a green eco campus, uh, teaching people about nature, to love the environment, uh, biodiversity protection, and then green energy. Um, and now going into the virtual platform as well, um, so that we can yeah, open this up to millions of people over the web on any mobile platform, any, uh, you know, any tablets or anything like that. So that's really our focus is, you know, really stimulating the creation of these things, um, making sure that everybody can access uh, this kind of educational opportunity so that we can have a true economic democracy. And uh, we won't rest until that day. It's the first time I'm at Opportunity Collaboration and um, I'm really grateful to Ron and Marty Cordes for the Cordes Fellowships um, and was very you know, excited to, to get that opportunity. Um, it's a conference that um, 
you know, I think opens up enormous global opportunities for people. You are in a space with uh, all kinds of people, grant seekers, grant makers, uh, with academics, with consultants, um, you, you know, all types of people. What I found is the 400 or so people that are here just have an enormous level of empathy. And one could see that, um, you know, just, just being there last night in that audience, listening to Sakina Yakubi from Afghanistan speak about her life experiences and the work that she does, and just the tremendous empathy in the people here, uh, commit, commitment to shared justice, to a, a world of uh, you know, economic and social justice. Um, and personally, I've made some wonderful connections and connections that I think will uh, you know, last not just uh, you know, for, for this time period, but that can last a lifetime. And so a number of the people we'll be following up with and uh, staying in touch with. So it's been a really fast and amazing week, but I've still taken time to go to the beach and swim. Uh, I've never felt such wonderful warm water actually ever in my life. And, and just getting into the ocean here is just so cleansing and uh, you know, invigorating. And then uh, just the conversations have been really invigorating.